Anyway, can they, these really do anything on their own? Probably not against this front. Where are they? How many are they? 105,000. Ukraine, 85,000. Where are my units? Oh, they're all in ne Neville. Great. What's going on here? Basically half my army is in this one province and they are leaving the rest undefended. What are they doing? Well, we have to make an attempt at least. I also see that uh, Moscow are coming to the Allies' aid in both West Revolt and in Northern Ukraine. Remainer usually is too busy with Bulgaria to actually aid Ukraine, making it common for Krakow to take northern Romania and also western Ukraine. As I said, we actually have to make an attempt, at least. So let's attack Smolensk. And no. That's a 3% progress, which is possibly the lowest I've ever seen. Let's try a bit at least. No, it actually went like even lower. No, forget about it. The others failed to aid my attack and went well everywhere else but Smolensk so I can couldn't do that on my own could have planned it better but I'm a player who relies on the AI and that's not a really smart thing to do actually but well I do so it's my fault for relying and trusting on them At least we won a battle in Ukraine. Let's see the Eastern Front. Well, Bulgaria has actually made some progress into Romania, so that's good. But let's see the Eastern Front. the progress in it. Well, that's actually really great news on the Western Front, I must say. Yeah, that's actually really, really great news on the Western Front. Usually the Western Front is actually pretty weak. But uh, both Paris and Aubergine have already fallen. Almost within a month from the start of the war. <laughs> and also that Dutch of Bessel, not so small anymore. I 
see a breakthrough in southern Lithuania. That's bad news though, because Croatia was our ally. They are not anymore. Krakow are doing good. Actually, Moscow troops are guarding the front line, front line in the south and not actually Ukrainians. That's interesting. Seems like this will be the end of the Northern Italian Republic or ally since they are surrounded by three hostile countries. They don't stand a chance. And actually, that Klagenfurt managed to take this much Croatia and Serbia basically got what? These provinces, very few. Macedonians are go doing good uh, progress in eastern Serbia, though. Almost closing in on Belgra Belgrade. Well, let's go back to the eastern front. Losses in the east. Some success in the north and also a bunch of Russians. Great, we got some new units available. 9th Highland Division. Now, do we need them on the Ukrainian or the Moscow front? We really need them on the Moscow front if, if you are to push into the revolt, which we really need. We are holding off the Ukrainians pretty well right now. Or, more, accurate, more accurately, the Moscovians. Because, where are the Ukrainians? Are all Ukrainians here? Because I'm only seeing a bunch of Russians all across the front line, and only here are, are they actually Ukrainians. Apparently. Well done. Going. That's bad. Macedonia is lost. Because the the Balkan front is very likely to be lost. Not now, of course, because it's very obvious that it it will fall now. But already from the start, it's very likely that the Balkan front will be lost if we are in a two-front war. This will mean that uh, once Bulgaria is lost. Serbian, Greek and Romanian troop, troops will be free to go north, fight the UK and Krakowian troops. And currently they are distracted or have been distracted, distracted by the Croatians, Macedonians and Bulgarians, but that will soon no longer be the case. But they wonder how strong, strong they actually are. Now we also can see their names. And uh, the northern Italy is not faring that good. But Basel has really gone on a great offensive and taken western Provence. Provence will actually look like we'll soon lose the war. Then they can take out Nantes and Brittany. They actually seem to be doing a really surprisingly good western offensive. Which is pretty 
unseen in the time lapses. But I guess sometimes you have luck. But we still have Milan, Munich, and Klagenfurt, also the Roman Republic. Did not fall now, but it's just a question of time. What? Kern wants me to love depth? No. Oh, that's not really good. That's really bad. Seems like we need to be on the defensive after all. Need to hold them back until they can do their best on the western front and perhaps we will get some help from there and I really need to do my best with getting some units going as quickly as it can right now we have to keep going Damn revolt, you're just rebels, how can you possibly be this strong? I thought I was going to be flanked in Estonia, but apparently not. There is breaking through. No, you are not going to do that. I'm not just going to break through down here. I won't allow it. I managed to push into Ukraine though. How many troops do we have in Ukraine? Well, holding back the Ukrainians won't matter that much if just the revolt just pushed through. Need to expand the theater. It was expected. Also expected. Now we got to find some more units. Well, this time I will do a better job and personally command these. Are they really actually that close to my capital? I'm putting the 12th division to garrison duty in Vilno because I really don't want to lose my capital. I can't afford with that loss of honor. I think we should be, we should abandon this before we actually get cut off, which which is actually very very likely. Shouldn't have ever have happened, but apparently it does. Get over here.
So many countries falling on the same day. Incredible. Nantes fell. Provence fell. And Munich also fell. That's no longer the Duchy of Basel, that's the Empire of Basel right now. <laughs>